Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set your calendar view to a day, a week, month, or year on the iPhone 14 series. Now, first, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, you can open up the calendar app, or you can open it from the app library. So we can put in calendar and then open it. Now to view your calendar for a day, you tap on today. Now if it is in a list format, you can tap on that to view today calendar. Now you can also tap on the back key and here you can select a particular day in a month. So you can see if I tap on the 25th of January, it will show me uh, the calendar view for today by the hour. So we've got uh, from 12 a.m. all the way down to uh, 12 a.m. the next day. So that is a 24 hour format. And in here you can see at the end of the day, I've got team meeting uh, for today. I've got pest inspection at around 10 and at 11, I've got the uh, doctoral consortium. So this is a daily view. If you want to go to the monthly view, you can tap on the back here. This will give you a monthly view in the calendar. Swiping up or down will allow you to scroll to the next month or to the previous month. You can also tap on the list button here. This will allow you to view your calendar uh, with the events at the bottom, the calendar at the top, and the event at the bottom. And at the moment, we are in November 22nd, so you can swipe up to go to the next month. So in February, I've got upcoming event, uh, happy birthday on the 1st. So you can see I have, on the 1st, I have happy birthday. Uh, on the 2nd, there, there is no schedule event. This one coming from the actual calendar holidays. And on the 14th of February, we've got Valentine's Day. Uh, it is duplicated here because it, they are coming from a different calendar source. Uh, I will show you how you can switch them off or how you can remove the duplicate. Um, I've got job interview, uh, team meeting. If you take a look on the left hand side here, you can see there are different um, colors. You've got yellow, purple, and green. This is to indicate the event are coming from different uh, calendar, source, uh, calendar source. And if you remove the list uh, button or icon at the top here, this will allow you to return back to your calendar monthly view and if you want to to view the yearly view you can tap on the back here this will allow you to view your calendar by the year so here you got um, 2022 21 or you can go forward 2024 uh, if you are in the current year it will show in the red color and if you are in the current month it will show that you are in that particular month and it will show you that in a particular day in the red color okay so now if I tap on today again it will quickly take you back to today view and if you tap on that day it will open up a daily view so that is how you can view your calendar uh, by daily view weekly or monthly view and if you tap so while you're here on that particular day if you tap on this button here it will show you all the upcoming uh, event if a particular day does not have an event happening, then it will not show uh, that day. So you can see here, Tuesday, January 24th, I've got uh, some events here. And then it goes down to January 25th, 26th, and then it jump all the way to February 1. So between January 26th and February 1st, um, I do not have any events except on the uh, 26th of January. So when there is no uh, event um, in the calendar between that time it will not show the day and you can switch it off and then when you are in a uh, yearly view you can see there are no options to view the events so you need to go into the month or you need to go into the today view so on a particular day to view your upcoming events and that's it now another thing is you can also rotate your calendar uh, to landscape mode, in landscape mode, you can also view your calendar um, by almost almost in a week weekly view. Uh, you can view all the the timelines. So you can have a grid, um, a grid uh, mode. So you can see here on the twenty fourth, it shows a timeline. So from twelve a.m. all the way down to 
uh, 12 a.m. the next day. However, you can swipe across and view all of the events, uh, previous day event, today and the next day uh, events in a grid view. So that can be handy if you need to view uh, past today uh, of all the events happening in your calendar. And by rotating it back to um, portrait mode, it will show you a daily view. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.